Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Paulio Jr. again. And in this video, uh, I wanted to show you guys an excellent, uh, simple program uh, known simply as Eraser. And this is an application uh, that you can install directly onto your machine. Uh, where in a previous video, which I'll put a link to, uh, you had to load, um, you know, from a USB or a CD-ROM. But with this program eraser, you can run it uh, on your operating system, um, so you can also multitask. And this is a big reason why I would prefer using this, so I can, um, you know, uh, delete hard drives, uh, get rid of files, and it shows you there's so many options in this and it's extremely simple to use and believe me when I say you will never make sure that whatever you you decide to um, add uh, to um, to your tasks as far as deleting that you don't want them because they will be gone permanently no friend no uh, IT forensics uh, company will ever be able to to get the, any of your files back if you do this. Uh, that being said, this is the official uh, website and I'll put a link to it um, in the description. And obviously we're just gonna go to download and in download, uh, you just go to the, to the latest version and from there uh, it should download automatically and then that's that. Now I'm backing out because I already have it installed and so what I'm going to do uh, is just open it directly. So I'm going to go to Eraser, which is the program. And so this is Eraser 6.2. Um, and so I don't have any tasks in here. And um, like I mentioned, uh, Eraser is completely free. Uh, it's very simple to use. And technically, Eraser is a file shredding program. And any kind of program that uh, removes data permanently to make it irrecoverable, um, essentially what it's doing is writing over the data uh, so many times. They call it passes. And with this, you can actually delete specific uh, folders, or you can delete entire hard drives uh, completely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings part here, and this is my default um, English. And then, so for here, these are the top two passes that you would want to use. Um, I would recommend I would recommend never doing something that's less than three passes, um, just to be safe. Because even with three passes, uh, if somebody really wanted to grab something, they they could, it might be difficult, but they could. Um, but this one, uh, the Gutman um, pass, the Gutman method is the one, this takes extremely long if you're trying to um, completely wipe uh, a hard drive or um, larger files and so forth. Um, whereas this one is the US uh, Department of Defense method. And um, this is the one I would typically use because uh, seven passes is uh, um, will work um, quite well. And believe me, nothing's going going to uh, <laughs> no one's going to be able to recover that. This is just like this is a surefire. This is just like ultra surefire. But whereas maybe something uh, wiping a hard drive with this one might take a day, this one would take. Uh, maybe a week if not longer so we're just gonna leave it at that and so force lock files to be unlocked for pretty sure that's fine um, now this is an option uh, right here and um, I really wouldn't use this unless you are doing something shady and basically when you check this off and you add a file or a folder um, you're basically saying uh, when you do that, it's going to leave like a residue of, um, of a picture or a file uh, on the hard drive. It gets rid of everything else, but it'll just leave like whatever files you want to leave on the hard drive saying that you didn't actually want to wipe the hard drive. So I don't think that's necessary um, at all if you're just trying to get rid of all of your um, 
all of your sensitive data that you don't want any, anybody to recover or you're trying to sell a hard drive. Um, you know, it's not necessary. Um, and then from there, we're just going to go, I'm going to save my settings. So these will be my default settings and I'm just using um, the U.S. Uh, Department of Defense settings, which is completely fine. So we're going to save settings. I'm going to go to erase schedule. And from here, I'm going to right click and do new task. Now, um, I would always just do uh, run immediately. You can, of course, set a time um, or run on restart. Uh, you would, wouldn't really use recurring. Um, so we're just going to do run up immediately. And then in here, uh, we're going to add data. And the target type is going to be, so you can pick anyone in here. You can pick anything that's in a recycling bin, files in a folder, or a specific file. So what I'm going to do, just to show you how it works, is just we're going to pick a file, one file. And even though the uh, eraser, eraser method is uh, default, I'm still just going to put it as the uh, U.S. Department of Defense. And so we're going to browse for this. We're going to go to desktop, and I'm just going to go to uh, a folder I have called uh, games. And here, I'm just going to to add this picture. So it's just one picture and we're just going to do okay. So we'll see in here very quick because it's a very that's a very um, doesn't take up a lot of space and we'll see that that picture is completely gone and that picture will never be seen again unless I re-download it. So um, if you are using it for um, to wipe a hard drive uh, you would go open up Eraser, go into New Task, uh, run immediately, <clears throat> add data, and then select Drive Partition. And I have my default settings, but I would still use the um, the U.S. Department of Defense, and then um, pick whichever hard drive I want. Obviously. I'm not going to do the C drive <laughs> where my Windows operating system is installed, um, but I am going to have a, another hard drive that I do have plugged in, um, which is a, um, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and I'm going to select this one, which is local E, and I always just double check just because that's what I do, whatever. So, <laughs> so it is local E. Uh, it says 465, so locally, local E is the one that I do want to wipe. I want to wipe everything off of it where um, it'll be completely irrecoverable. Um, and then we're going to hit OK. Uh, we're going to hit OK, and it's going to start. And this method uh, of doing it this way, um, depending on the size of the hard drive, um, could take a, a decent amount of time. We are doing seven passes, so I wouldn't, I definitely won't be surprised um, when I wake up tomorrow that this is still running. Um, but the, like I said, the, the benefit of using uh, this program over um, the other one that I like, Dereks, um, it's called Dereks New Kaboot. Uh, I'll, put a, uh, I'll put a link in the description as well for that because that's another really good one. Um, but I think that one, if you have um, if you have time to spare, then yeah, I would use the eraser program. If you just want all your uh, efforts to go towards uh, wiping a hard drive in particular, uh, then I would use um, uh, Dereks uh, Nukem. What was it Nukem Boot or something? Like boot and Nuke. Um, and I could be completely butchering the name right now, but it's called the Reeks. Um, but the cool thing with Eraser is that you can open it in your operating system and delete um, specific files. So you can delete one file at a time. You can delete multiple files. Uh, you can do scheduled uh, formats and all that good, or scheduled wipings and all that good stuff. And believe me, they will never see the light of day again. So I would always recommend using the at least seven passes. If you really want to go gung ho, then use the very top one, uh, the Gutman method. Um, 
which is which will take extremely long if your um, if the file size is uh, is relatively large. It'll take um, I would say probably uh, 50, almost 50 times <laughs> longer, uh, maybe not 50, but pretty close, to 20 to 30 times longer uh, than the Department of Defense method. So right now um, I am uh, formatting uh, a 500 gigabyte hard drive, so it will take some time, um, but then I'll be able to um, I'm, I'll be able to sell the hard drive and um, at least know that hey, you know everything's off of it, so I don't have anything to worry about. So uh, that's all I got. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a fantastic um, free program. It's an open source program. Uh, so um, hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.